Hey everybody, this is Travis Shaw with the Jesse Norman School of the Arts. And this is our beginner guitar course, Lesson 2. In today's video, I want to cover three things that will help you get started on the guitar. One is being able to name the strings, picking hand exercises, fretting hand exercise. So when it comes to naming the strings on the guitar, the way I like to do it is I like to start with the lowest pitch string on the guitar. We call this low E, or sometimes we just call it E. The next string is called A, then D, G, B, and then we have another E, and we call this one high E. It's really hard to remember this, though. E, A, D, G, B, E. It's like, it's really tough to just get it in the brain. So we use a very simple mnemonic device that helps us a lot. It's just a silly little sentence and it goes like this. It goes, Eddie ate dynamite. Good bye, Eddie. Okay, so if you can remember that, then you can remember the six strings of the guitar. It also comes with a funny mental image, which is also uh, it helps it stick, you know, it gives it some, some stickiness. So that's how we get around naming the strings of the guitar. And this is really important because we use this a lot when we're talking about getting around the guitar. Simplicity is your friend. You don't have to play a bunch to make the guitar sound awesome. You actually just have to play a little. So sometimes when you just hit a single note and let it ring, all that ring is there and it sounds great and you don't have to do anything. You just enjoy it. So with that in mind, this really simple right hand exercise that I like to do is just to play each string twice. Just go really slow. But take your time and do a down pick and then an up pick on the guitar. And try to enjoy the simplicity of it. Then do threes on each string. getting your muscles moving and kind of getting used to the feel of the string. Alright, then there's a simple left hand exercise that I recommend. I like to just play the high E string open, okay? So that's what we've been doing. And then I like to take my first finger and put it on the first fret of the high E string. And then I like to take my second finger and put it on the second fret. And then I like to take my third finger and put it on the third fret. So practice that and see if you can just move those fingers along. But then start with the open again and move your first finger to the second fret. Start with the open again and move your first finger to the third fret. Okay, so you put all this together and you make a simple exercise that I call the finger spider. One, then two, then three. All right, it's pretty simple and you can try it on any of the strings. 
I typically don't go, I typically do, let's say, high E string, B string, and G string. And when you're starting out, I don't even worry about the D and the A and the low E for this particular finger spider exercise. Because it gets kind of tough down there. And all we're trying to do is just establish the ability to play some simple notes. Okay, so that's our, our lesson number two in the series. Remember, always take it super simple and just let the guitar ring. There's so much music in just letting the notes go. Don't forget that at the Jesse Norman School of the Arts, we have all kinds of cool classes for you guys to take. We've got an awesome Facebook page that has live streams every single day of the week. Well, maybe except for Saturday and Sunday. But we're live streaming all the time and we would love to hear from you guys and we would love to connect with you. So once again, I'm Travis Shaw with the Jesse Norman School of the Arts and this is our beginner guitar course and I'll see you in lesson three. Thanks, bye.